tutorial will focus on, uh, cr on doing the general journal entries, which is uh, the adjusting uh, entries, and there's only three adjustments here, and then all the closing entries as well. So if you uh, refer back to the worksheet here, uh, there was uh, uh, interest expense of uh, $2,913, and it came out of the bank as well. So we go to the general journal. Now, date 2008, so this is uh, all uh, March, and it's the 31st of March, last day. So under particulars, um, the interest expense and that was account 633 if you want to check and the amount was $2913 and of course bank went down the same amount and so that's the first one the bank is actually account 101 Next, we uh, another one is the allowance for doubtful accounts. Again, uh, allowance for doubtful accounts uh, went uh, up $100 and accounts receivable went down $100. And that's account 106. And it was a hundred bucks. And oh, that was count 105. And a hundred dollars as well, of course. And the last adjustment was the supplies. Under the worksheet, um, supplies expense was uh, debited 2000 and supplies went down 2000 so in the general journal this would be the uh, adjusting entry we the debit of course always goes first so supplies expense supplies expense is uh, count 620 and it was $2000 Supplies account 115 and $2,000. And that's all the adjusting entries. And we could put the particulars in too. So next we have the closing entries. And of course, still on March 31st. So merchandise inventory. Now back to the worksheet. Merchandise inventory has a uh, debit balance of uh, fifty-five thousand one twenty-four. So back to the general journal. And merchandise inventory is account one ten. And again, 55, 124. Uh, next, we put uh, sales revenue and then the purchase returns and allowances and the purchase discount. Sales revenue is count 401. And if you go back to the worksheet, sales revenue is 74,600. That's a credit balance, so that's why we're taking 74,600 out to close that account. Uh, next, we'll do the purchases. Actually, purchase returns and allowances and that was account 502 
purchase returns and allowances are there we go purchase returns and allowances 1285 so notice again it's a credit balance of 1285 so we will debit out the same amount again to close the account so at the beginning of the next accounting cycle it starts fresh and we have purchase discounts which is account 503 and remember you can check you can get where all the counts are from right here in the worksheet and uh, the uh, purchase discounts were seven hundred fifty five dollars so seven five five and so the next item here is income summary and for income summary we uh, we total those four amounts so this is the sum of this cell and this cell and this cell and this one 131,764 now we have to uh, close all the uh, um, all the expenses sales returns allowance discounts purchase freight in all that so And again, income summary is the 310 account. Now, uh, just type that in. Of course, this uh, sum comes from all the rest that we're going to type here. And so we're closing out the, uh, the this is actually the beginning inventory from the last period. Uh, merchandise inventory was a $57,960 debit balance. See, at the this was the closing amount for merchandise inventory. That's why the uh, merchandise inventory has to start at fifty-five thousand one twenty-four for the next accounting cycle. So we're closing out the fifty-seven thousand nine sixty debit balance here. So in a general journal, we're going to put merchandise inventory here. And that's account 110. And we put that 57,960 amount right there to close out the uh, old merchandise inventory beginning balance. Uh, next, we'll do the sales returns and allowances. Which is account 402. And again, back to the worksheet, uh, sales returns and allowances was 1285. So we want to uh, subtract 1285 so that that's back to zero for the next accounting period. Uh, next, we'll do sales discounts, which is account 403. And sales discounts right here was $178. So we want to uh, take $178 from that account, so it's back to zero. Purchases, which is account 501, and purchases was 17,460. So we want to close that out, 17,460. And I'll be back to zero for the next accounting period. Freight in, which is account 504. Freight in was 2475. So we'll uh, credit that 2475. And then we have all the expenses plus freight out. And you're really just copying all these expenses. Uh, so I'm going to pause the uh, uh, video while I just type those in. I'm just copying them from the worksheet. OK, here's all the uh, those accounts typed in. And I just noticed a mistake. The sales returns and allowances is 600. Back to um, sales returns and allowances. That's, I looked at purchase returns. Sales returns is 600. So back to general journal, we'll fix this. This should be 600 looked at the wrong amount. So we total all those up and that goes right there. 
So that would be the sum uh, under column J from, and this number here would be uh, J24 all the way to J and the supplies expense here is in 37. And so that's $109,094. So next, the next item, and it's of course still on March 31st, is income summary. And this income summary amount, and of course that's count 310, this amount here and actually let's go to so full screen so we can see more. This amount that goes in here is the difference between these two income summaries. So we go uh, this one minus this one. So that would be J21 minus J23. And What's wrong with that? Oh, I-23, there we go. Of course, there's nothing in J-23. So that income summary amount there, and then what we do is we do capital, D-bell, whoops. That's supposed to be a comma there. And that account is account 301. Has to be uh, credited the same amount, 22670. So that's how much the capital has changed. One last entry has said we close out the drawings. So D bell. capital and this is of course 301 again the if you go back to the worksheet the drawings were 31168 so we put that's the drawings right there and the same amount here of course That's count 305. And that is the end of how of the uh, general journal entries.